Hey guys, welcome back to Pops and Props. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Soul, the new Pixar movie, and I will also be reviewing the whole line of Funko Pops. So let's get right into it. So you guys are probably wondering why the lighting is so different, and I actually wanted to do kind of a new setup with the lighting. So this is me just kind of experimenting. Honestly, I think it looks a lot better. So let's just jump into the movie review. So the movie Soul is about a jazz musician named Joe Gardner and his dream is to pursue his career in jazz music. And essentially he gets this really big gig to play with this really famous jazz, uh, I think it's a saxophone player. And on his way to get ready for the gig, he falls in one of those manhole covers and basically the whole movie is just about him trying to get back into his real life body to be able to pursue pursue his career and honestly it's just a really great film it made me quite teary in some spots and it kind of just changes your whole perspective on what your purpose is in life and i would probably give this movie i don't know maybe around an 8.5 maybe even a 9 out of 10 I just love the movie so much and it really really like touched my soul which is ironic <laughs> but I gotta say it's probably one of my most favorite Pixar movies of all time it is a really fantastic movie and I definitely recommend it so I've got all the funk pops off to the side here we're gonna start on the low numbers and go up to the high numbers so first off I'm gonna show off Joe Gardner and this is the main character of the movie. I'm just going to do a quick little glance of the box. And honestly, this Funko Pop is really, really nice. I'm just in love with all of the box art on all of these Funko Pops. There is the line for you guys if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, so he is number 742 out of... I don't know if it's Disney or Pixar or what line it is. But that is Joe Gardner. I'm going to put him here. I'm just going to talk briefly about the Funk Pop itself. I love how they kept the style the same as in the movie. And honestly, the paint apps are just really, really nice. And I just love how he's holding the conductor wand. It's a really nice Funko Pop. Okay, guys. So up next is Mr. Mittens. And this is the cat in the movie. And honestly, this is a really cute character. Here's a quick little look at the box. And one thing that I really love what they did with these Funko Pops is that they actually made the living characters, they made the side blue right here. And they also did it with this little strip right here on the box. Um, and I'll show you guys the actual soles, whereas they're a little bit more purpley, a little more, a lot more color gradient. And I just love how they changed those colors in between the living Funko Pops and the not so living Funko Pops. But honestly, talking about Mr. Mittens, he's a really cute character. And this is my first time ever popping him out of the box. I'll show a clip right here for you guys. But he just looks really, really great. Once again, the paint apps are looking really, really nice. And I just love how he's just kind of sitting down eating his pizza. He's a chunky cat and he's pretty cute. So I'm actually gonna move these over here just cause I'm a little worried for room. So I'm gonna put them off to the side over here just so I have a bit more space. And next up is, where is 43? 44, sorry. So 744, this is Joe Gardner's Soul World. And this is another amazing Funko Pop. I absolutely love what they did with the, I think it's vinyl. It's the type of plastic that they use for the Funko Pops, but I absolutely how, love how they colored the Funko Pop. You can tell that it's not really painted. It's more of they added the color into the plastic mold and that's just why it looks so good. So once again, there he is there, guys. I think he looks absolutely fantastic. And I don't know if I said it already, but this is Joe Gardner, Soul World. And once again, he's just kind of doing his thing with his fingers. And yeah, another awesome Funko Pop. So up next is 745. And this one is 22. 
And this is kind of like the secondary character in the movie. And this Funko Pop actually does glow in the dark. I might as well show you guys what it looks like glowing. So give me one hot second. Okay guys, so I got the Funko Pop out of the box. So I'm just going to light it up here and hopefully it looks pretty decent on camera. Um, I think it will. I'm just going to do this for a little bit of time here. And all right, let's hope that's good enough. So that is what it looks like in the dark. That looks really, really good on camera. I am pleasantly surprised, but that's what it looks like coming all around. You can see actually on the side, that's where they put the darker paint in it, but it just looks absolutely amazing. And I know I'm that's a bit better. But yeah, that's what it looks like in the dark, guys. It is really, really nice. So I actually forgot to include this one Funko Pop here, but pretty much they are the exact same Funko Pop. The one just glows in the dark and the one doesn't. But there you go for, for you guys. There, this is 22, the secondary character in Soul. And yeah, so that is 745 in the line. I'm gonna put those ones off to the side and then we'll get right into 746. And 746 is Moonwind. And Moonwind has a pretty important role to play in the movie. I don't really want to spoil anything for you guys, but this Funko Pop looks really, really nice. Um, I just love, once again, I love the color gradation in it. I love how they included the classic Funko Pop black eyes. And I also love what they did with the eyebrows and they just look really express <laughs> expressive is that even a word i don't know but yeah this Funko pop is just really really nice looking once again some really great color gradation on the back there it's just i just love this whole set of funko pops two more funko pops left in this set the next one is mr mittens and this one is interesting um you don't see much of mr mittens soul world in the movie i don't want to say a whole lot about it i don't want to spoil it for you guys if you haven't seen it yet but the whole point of this video was to show off the funk pops so once again i'll do a nice close-up clip of this character for you guys he is pretty darn cute he's just chilling there once again he's got um the classic funk pop black eyes like i've said before and I honestly think he's shorter than your usual 3 and 3.75 inch Funko Pop. So he's a little bit shorter, a little bit chunkier, but he's really cute. And guys, last but not least is 22 Grinning. And this is very similar to, if I can pull it out here, very similar to the 22. The only really difference is... <laughs> is the grinning. <laughs> She's kind of got a different expression on her face. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll bring it up nice and close for you guys there. So she's kind of angry looking, really expressive in her eyebrows and her mouth. Her mouth is extremely wide open. And then for this one, she's just looking a little bit happier. But that one's the, <laughs> that one is there. Another great Funko Pop in the set. And yeah, that's about it. So guys, this is the whole set of the Soul Funko Pops. I absolutely love these Funko Pops. I think they are really, really nice looking and I just love the design of the boxes and I just really like everything about them. Let me know guys down in the comments if you wanna see more Funko Pop reviews and what Funko Pops you want me to review. As always guys, don't forget to do those three things, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have a little bit of time, share the video. And I will see you guys next time.